What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Landaris. Bam. You see it. Bam. You see it. Ooh. You see it. L and L line service. Kansas City, Missouri. Blue Springs area. Back at you. Alright. Yo, I am up here, about to get out of here, hit some lines. Hey, I got something to show you guys, um, and I got this because <clears throat> uh, it'll help out a part of my arsenal as far as some of the smaller yards that I have, and I got a couple of customers that kind of, they, you know, I usually stop mowing grass around November, October, second, third week of October. November. It depends on the weather. You know, the weather down here in Missouri is kind of, is kind of, you know, funny, man. I mean, it, it you could go to November and, and, and finish cutting, but usually it's, uh, I've done that, uh, the third week of October. Uh, so around November is kind of when I stop cutting, but I got a couple of customers that still want me to cut because the leaves be falling down and they want you to kind of pick those leaves up, mulch them bag them things like that like just, they basically want you to mulch over them mulch them up as the leaves falling and then when it's time to do a leaf cleanup there is no really leaf cleanup you know it, it ain't so those are the smart customers those customers they don't wait to the last minute they they know what they doing they know exactly what they doing so uh and there's nothing wrong with that you know what i'm saying so makes my job easier uh they pay less and it's not 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 that much work when, when you're dealing with certain yards and stuff like that so it is what it is but i got the uh bam ballard uh catch pro go to his website pick you up one uh there you go ballardinc.com that's the uh, Catch Pro. And I got this because look at this little logo. Look at this logo. I like that little logo on there. Wait, let me get that in there. That little logo. <laughs> but uh, I got this bad boy. Uh, it was around 400 something dollars. Uh, and you could get a discount on it. I went to uh, Brian's Lawn Maintenance. Uh, and I just punched in his Brian 10 and I got a discount on it. So uh, you could do that too. Get your discount on it. And I also picked up the the leaf, the leaf, not the leaf, but the the uh, dust, the dust, uh, the dust barrier. So that means the dust ain't coming up and all that stuff. So I picked up the dust barrier. I got a I got a discount on it, and then I added the dust barrier and stuff, which is basically almost a discount. So. I mean, you're still going to be paying full price if you get the dust barrier, but you're still saving money in the long run, so it is what it is. But I got this one for yards, my smaller yards that just, you know, want me to pick up grass. And then in the springtime, I have the Toro, but at the same time, at the same time, you know, when you're dumping that Toro, you, I mean, you got to walk back to the truck, dump it. Go cut some more grass. Walk back to the truck. Dump it. Go, go cut some more grass. It gets full. Go back to the, dump, the, the truck and dump it. So with this, I'm not doing that walking. I'm on my Skag. I got my uh, Catch Pro. And I am basically, you know, not uh, putting too much effort into it as far as until I get ready to dump it. So that's going to be a plus. And uh, during the springtime, you know, I got a couple of customers where they kind of want you to bag it. They want you to bag it. So, uh, and heck, you know what? I might, I might even ask the doctor. I, I, I do this doc, doc's yard, and he wants me to bag his, uh, bag his uh, clippings. So I might be able to do like 
half of his yard with this. I'm not going to get on a hill because he don't want to tear up his yard. So kind of like the flat part, I can use this and bag it. So the 36. So that might be a plus. So uh, I might be able to, to bag the front yard and, you know, walk the, the backyard. Hmm. Hey, it's going to help out. So that's the, the Ballard Catch Pro. BallardInc.com. Go to that. Pick you up one of those. It's around four hundred something dollars. Uh, the leaf, the leaf, uh, the the dust guard. It, it's kind of it's it's like I don't know thirty bucks or something like that, somewhere around there. But I'm hoping to help me out. And uh, I am uh, trying to. Mm, lost my train of thought. Y'all do that every once in a while? Just lose your train of thought? Yeah, I do that. Anyway. But, hey guys, you know, um, I do this full time. Uh, some people might not say I do it full time because I got another job. So, I look at it as I got two, two full time jobs. Um, I do this lawn maintenance four days a week. Eight hours, sometimes 10 hours, 12 hours. Y'all know how it is. You do it until you're done, until you finish your schedule, things like that. So when the summer hit, I'm working seven days a week. I don't get no rest. I, I can barely keep up with my yard uh, doing things that I have to do around the house. I'm taking care of everybody else's yard. So uh, this is a full-time job. And as long as you stick with it, those guys out there, that want to make this a career and just stick with it just stick with it and like somebody told me all you got to do is outlast the low ballers just outlast the guys that's out there just trying to get money for beer uh... money for cigarettes uh... just to get a little cash in their pocket and that's cool that's cool but they not in it for the long haul so you would know somebody when they in it for the long haul because they're invested in their business. They take that money and they invest in it. They take that money and they dump it back into the business. And that's what most entrepreneurs do, business owners do. They dump it in there. And you are hoping that things take off, your business grow. And I believe that the universe is kind of set up as opportunity, exposure, to things is basically opportunity if you got an opportunity and you expose to something and you kind of figure it out you can make it work and uh, I believe that with anything you know if you wanted to become a doctor all it is is being exposed to uh, that that career see most 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 people ain't exposed to a lot of stuff so they don't know anything about it but they smart enough to do it so I believe that uh, you can be whatever you want to be you can do whatever you want to do long as you get exposed to it you're disciplined and uh, you're humble about it you'll be able to outlast the next wannabe lawn care provider and everybody ain't wannabes out there there's some guys out there putting their work putting in time, got crews, trying to make it work, dumping money into everything they got, you know. So, that being said, if you really want to do this, you really want to make this thing a career, you can do it and you can make money. No doubt about it. You can make money doing this. So, but you got to invest the time, the dedication, and you can't give up. You can't give up. Most guys give up. Most guys give up. They get the prices wrong. They do this. They do that. And then they just say all oh, the heck with it. Change your prices. Do something different. It's all about change. This lawn care stuff is, is constantly changing. It just changes all the time. You got different customers that you got to deal with. You got to figure things out. Everything. You got to go out there and figure it out. So if you can do that, you'll survive. So this is my fourth year doing it, and I feel blessed, and I, 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 I see the future is getting a little bit better. As long as I stay with it, 
I'll just keep climbing until I hit that spot where I want to be. Depends on where you want to be. You want to be a solo. You want to be, you know, just getting it for beer and cigarettes. You want to, man, take this to the next level and have a corporation, company, uh, tons of employees, tons of trucks running around. It's whatever you want. But all you got to do is outlast that next guy. And as long as you can do that, and you know the ones that you can outlast because they're not really invested in their business. They're really not. So uh, if you can do that and withstand that storm in the beginning, it'll all pan out. It'll all pan out. So I hope I encourage somebody out there today to uh, get out there and, and do it. You can make money in this business as long as you stick with it and you discipline and you got the you got that you you got that grind. Most of these guys out here, they they got that grind. They grinding it out. They grind it out in the beginning. And that's what I'm doing. So uh that's all you gotta do. But anyway, let's see me put this thing on. It's really not that hard to put on. So and I'm gonna try it out. So you just stick it in one of these holes. I'm doing this with one hand, guys one hand and just let it fall down that's it that's it that is it so I'm gonna try this bad boy out and uh, and make sure you know it's catching the grass and things like that I'm excited for it so it, it'll add on to it. it it just gives me something else to to actually use to make my life a little bit easier that's all it is. Something to make my life a little bit easier, make the job a little bit easier, make you a little bit more sufficient. Efficient, sorry. Make you more efficient and and go about your business. All right, guys. That is my time. I'm out. I'm about to get to work. Like, subscribe, leave your comments, hit that bell button. All this grass out here, you better do what you got to do. But you better do it. Alright guys, peace.